leaving in the morning, you know, to go to a special venue. I think it's going to be a memorable experience for these guys to have a chance to compete um, at, at Madison Square Garden. Um, it adds a little bit of excitement, I think. Um, I think everybody here knows what's at stake and what they've worked for. And, uh, you know, so you don't really have to hype it up much. But given the fact that it is in New York City and, and it is at Madison Square Garden, um, that there, uh, I think, alone probably um, raises the excitement level and just the adrenaline for these guys to go um, make this trip. Going to MSG and having the lights on you and being kind of like the, the main event, MSG is like amazing, you know, like it's kind of what we live for. People would only wish to be able to be in the position we are. Even past wrestlers like, man, I wish I could be going to MSG when I was in college. So, you know, it's just a blessing that we have the opportunity to go to one of the largest venues that we know, you know, and just go battle. In one sense, it's very, it's a very unique experience to go to Madison Square Garden and compete and compete in New York City. On another hand, <clears throat> nothing's changing. We're going to do what we do every day in practice. Go out there and wrestle as hard as we can, try to score points in every position, and uh, ultimately win the match. You can't blow it up or out of proportion like more than it is. It's just a wrestling match, you know. Um, but I have been uh, Googling pictures of Madison Square Garden a lot this week, just like to look at it because it's kind of cool. But you can't blow it up. Like you said, you know, it's just a seven minutes. It's what we've been doing our whole lives. So it's going to be cool, but it's just a wrestling match, you know. We got a taste of that at the Big 12 Championships, and that's what we talked about um, being an advantage of going um, into the Big 12. And we, we had the, the tournament in the Sprint Center, which is, you know, just a huge <clears throat> venue and, and uh, went through um, the same, I think, practices that we'll see at the NCAA. So it shouldn't be really um, any kind of a shock factor for these guys. And like I said, it only it's only an issue if you let it be an issue. Yeah, today was actually my last practice. And going into this tournament is kind of a similar feeling. It's a little bit nostalgic. I have one more chance to wrestle. I have one chance to go and take everything I've learned through the last five years and even the last 10 or 11 years of my life that I've been wrestling and I have one chance to go and make those things um, worthwhile. I guess worthwhile is not the right word. The whole thing has been worthwhile. But to go out there and to use what I've learned to compete as best as I can. You just believe that, that you're prepared and you're ready and you don't think too much about the seating. You sure as heck don't look forward into the bracket. You don't look at who you might have if you win. <laughs> you focus on the match in front of you. You know, that's one of the worst things you can do is go, okay, when I beat this guy, then who am I going to have? Doesn't matter. You don't know. You, you're not careful. You're going to not get there, number one, but you'll surprise yourself. He may not get there if he's thinking that way. So you just worry about the match in front of you. It's the first step to my overall goal of to be an All-American and a national champ. I, uh, I've said it all year in interviews and stuff that I've, I was so, like, heartbroken that I didn't make the NCAA tournament that I... I took the back seat kind of at ACC's and I didn't go out and get what I had to do to get there. So that fueled me all year. And so now that it's finally here, you know, I'm real excited that I'm going to MSG and going to the NCAA tournament, but I still want a lot more. You know, whether you're seated or not, you should feel like you, be, you belong to be there. Um, and if you put together your best five matches and, you know, you can make some special things happen. Um, you know, I went, um, not, I, I, my personal um, journey to the NCAAs as a freshman was I got third at, at the conference championships. I actually um, got pinned at the conference championships. Uh, went into the tournament unseated, had the number two seed the first match and, and, and ran through and had my five best matches of, of my career right in a row. And that's what you need to make happen. Uh, kind of similar to Bryce, you know, I didn't make it last year either and that really stung. Um, so I put in a good summer and you know, that's what I've been working for since since I got put out, of the, or since my season ended last year, so um, yeah, I'm not here just to go have fun. Really, I'm here to wrestle and and uh, <clears throat> like make a name for myself, I guess, Madison Square Garden. So, hopefully, you get um, you you get to a level that you haven't ever wrestled in your life. That's what you want to do. And you say, well, how do I get there? Is it a change in our training? Yeah, we tweaked our training a little bit. But the, the biggest thing I told him after the Big 12 tournament, it's, it's right here. It's getting focused and being prepared. And how do I go into that tournament with a, with a different mindset than I've ever had? 
Um, so, you know, you just, you do that and you, you don't worry about if it's your first time or your fourth time. You go in there and, and uh, you have high expectations for yourself. And, and we talked about that after the Big 12s. We said, you know, if you're, um, if you're going for the souvenir, you know, it's, it's going to be a quick tournament for you. Um, get focused on going there for something more than the souvenir. You know, there's a, there's a little plaque they give you like this that you'll hold special for the rest of your life. And that's what they need to focus on.